Excuse me, is this seat taken? Excuse me? Is this taken? Yes, it is. Oh, sorry. Sure thing. Excuse me, is this seat taken? Excuse me? Is this taken? No, but I'm expecting somebody in a minute. Oh, thanks anyways. Sure thing. Excuse me, is this seat taken? No, but I'm expecting somebody shortly. Well, would you mind if I wait till he, she, or it gets here? Uh, <laughs> they do seem to be pretty late. You never know who you might be turning down. <laughs> Sorry, nice try though. Oh, sure thing. Is this seat taken? No, it's not. Would you mind if yes, I sit I here? Would. Oh. <laughs> is this chair taken? No, it's not. Would you mind if I sit here? No, go ahead. Oh, thanks. Every place else seems to be taken. Mm-hmm. Great place. Mm-hmm. What's the book? I just wanted to read in quiet, if you don't mind. <laughs> oh, sure thing. Every place else seems to be taken. Mm -hmm. Great place for reading. Yes, I like it. What's the book? The Sound and the Fury. Oh, Hemingway. <laughs> What's the book? The Sound and the Fury. Oh, Faulkner. Have you read it? Not actually. I've sure read a lot of that, though. It's supposed to be great. <laughs> it is great. I hear it's great. So what's the book? The Sound and the Fury. Oh, Faulkner. Have you read it? I'm a Mets fan, myself. <laughs> Have you read it? Yeah, I read it in college. Where was college? I went to Praise University, the online university. Where was college? I was lying, I never went to college. I just like to party! Where was college? Harvard. Do you like Faulkner? I love Faulkner. I spent a whole winter reading him once. I've just started. <laughs> I was so excited after 10 pages. I went out and I bought everything else you wrote. One of the greatest reading experiences of my life. I mean, all that incredible psychological understanding. Page after page of gorgeous prose. His profound grasp of the mystery of time and the human existence. The smells of the earth. What do you think? I think it's pretty boring. What's the book? The Sound of the Fury. Oh, Faulkner. Do you like Faulkner? I love Faulkner. He's incredible. I spent a whole winter reading him once. I was so excited after 10 pages, I went out and bought everything else he wrote. Uh, all that incredible psychological understanding. And the prose is so gorgeous. And his profound grasp of the mystery of time. And human existence. <laughs> I can't believe I waited this long to read him. Well, 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 you never know. You might not have liked him before now. That's true. You may not have been ready for him. You have to hit these things at the right time or it's no good. That's happened to me. It's all in the timing. My name's Bill, by the way. Betty. Hi. Hi. Yeah, so I thought reading Faulkner was a great experience. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the sound and the fury. <laughs> well, <laughs> onwards and upwards. Waiter. So what's the book? The sound and the fury? Oh, Faulkner. Do you like Faulkner? I love Faulkner. He's incredible. You know, you have to hit these things at the right time, or it's no good. That's happened to me. It's all in the timing. My name's Bill, Betty. by the way. Hi. Hi. <laughs> so, do you come in here a lot? Actually, I'm just in town for two days from Pakistan. Oh, Pakistan. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Bill, by the way. Betty. Hi. Hi. So, do you come in here a lot? Every once in a while, do you? Not so much. Not as much as I used to. Not since my nervous breakdown! <laughs> So do you come in here a lot? Why are you asking? I'm just interested. Are you really interested or are you just trying to pick me up? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm really interested. Why would you be interested whether I come in here a lot? Uh, I don't know, I'm just uh, getting acquainted. Maybe you're just asking, being interested for the sake of making small talk long enough to ask me back to your place to listen to some music, or because you just rented some great tape for your VCR, <laughs> or to listen to some terrific unknown Django Reinhardt record. Only all you really want to do is fuck, which you won't do very well. After which you go to the bathroom and pee very loudly. Then pat into the kitchen and get yourself a beer from the refrigerator without asking me whether I like anything. <laughs> Proceed to lie back down beside me and confess that you've got a girlfriend named Stephanie who's been away at medical school in Belgium for a year <laughs> and who you've been involved with off and on for the better part of seven years. <laughs> None of which interests me, mister. <laughs> okay. So do you come in here a lot? Every other day, I think. Uh, I come in here quite a lot. I don't remember seeing you. We must be on different schedules. Misconnections. Yes, different time zones. Amazing how you can live next to somebody in this city and never even know it. I know. City life. It's crazy. We probably pass each other on the street every day right in front of this place, probably. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the waiters sure seem to be on a different time zone. I can't seem to locate one anywhere. Waiter!
So do you? I beg pardon? Oh, sorry. So do you come in here a lot? Uh, every once in a while, but I've never seen you before. Oh, well, misconnection. Yes, different time zones. Well, amazing how you can live next to somebody in the city and never even know it. I know. City well, life. It's crazy. <laughs> so you weren't waiting for somebody when I came in here, were you? Actually, I was. Oh, boyfriend? Sort of. What's a sort of boyfriend? My husband. Uh-huh. You weren't waiting for somebody when I came in here, were you? Actually, I was. Oh, boyfriend? Sort of. What's a sort of boyfriend? Well, <laughs> we were meeting here to break. <laughs> What's a sort of boyfriend? My lover! Here she comes right now! You <laughs> 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 weren't meeting anyone when I came in here, were you? No, just reading. Oh, sort of a sad occupation for a Friday night, isn't it? Reading in here all by yourself? You think so? Yeah, I mean, what's a good-looking woman like you doing out alone on a Friday night? Trying to avoid lines like that. No, wait! <laughs> You weren't waiting for somebody when I came in here, were you? No, just reading. Well, it's sort of a sad occupation for a Friday night, isn't it? Reading in here all by yourself? I guess it is, in a way. I mean, what's a good-looking woman like you doing out alone on a Friday night? No offense, but... Anyway. I'm out alone on a Friday night for the first time in a very long time. Oh. <laughs> you see, I recently ended a relationship. Oh. A rather long-standing. Sorry to hear that. <laughs> well, since reading by yourself is such a sad occupation, would you like to do something else? No. Go someplace else? <laughs> No thanks. I was headed to the movies in a while anyway. I don't think so! You know, it's a good chance to let Faulkner catch his breath, all those long sentences got him really tired. <laughs> no, thank you. Alright. I appreciate the invitation. No, sure thing. You weren't waiting for somebody when I came in here, were you? No, just reading. Well, sort of a sad occupation for a Friday night, isn't it? Reading in here you all know, by yourself? I was trying to think of it as existentially romantic, you know, <laughs> cappuccino, great literature, rainy no, night. No, no, that only works in Paris. We could hop the late flight to Paris, find a Concord, find a cafe. <laughs> I'm a little short on playing Friday tonight. <laughs> Darn it, so am I. Um, actually, I was headed to the movies after I finished this section. Would you like to come along? <laughs> Since you can't locate a waiter. <laughs> yeah, that's a very nice offer, but... Uh-huh, uh, girlfriend. No, two of them, actually. One of them's pregnant, and Stephanie? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't have a girlfriend. Now if you count the cash ring, bitch, I dumped last week. Girlfriend? <laughs> sort of, sort of. What's a sort of girlfriend? My mother. <laughs> <laughs> I just ended a relationship, actually. Oh. Of rather long standing. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, it's my first night out alone in a long time. I feel a little bit at sea. To tell you the truth. So you didn't stop to talk because you're moody or you have some weird political affiliation? No, I'm straight down the ticket Republican. Straight down the ticket Democrat. I'm a citizen of the universe. <laughs> of my beliefs. Great. Yeah. You know, labels are not important. Take me, for example. So what if I got a 2.0 or 3.0, 4.0 in college, or if I do come from Pittsburgh, Cleveland, Westchester County? Sure! Yeah. I believe a man is what he is. A person is what he is. A person is what they are. I think so too. So what if I admire Trotsky? So what if I got a full body liposuction? So what if I don't have a penis? So what if I spent a year in a peace court? You know, I was acting on my conviction. Sure. You cannot just hang a sign on a person. Absolutely. <laughs> I bet you're a Scorpio. <laughs> Listen, I was headed to the movies after I finished this section. Would you like to come along? That, yeah, that sounds like fun. What, what's playing? A couple of the really early Woody Allen movies. Oh. You don't like Woody Allen? No, no, I, I like Woody Allen. <laughs> but you're not crazy about Woody Allen. You know, the early ones kind of get on my nerves. Uh-huh. <laughs> so listen, I was headed to the movies. Uh, I'm sorry. No, no, go ahead. I was going to say that I was headed to the movies in a while. And so was I. The Woody Allen Festival? Just up the street? Do you like the early ones? <laughs> I think anybody who doesn't ought to be right off the planet. <laughs> How many times have you seen Bananas? Eight times. Twelve times. So do you still want to go? Do you like Enton Mint's Crumb Cake? I went out at 2 in the morning last night to get it. <laughs> Did you have an Etch-a-Sketch as a child? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Do you like Brussels sprouts? No. I, I think they're disgusting. They are disgusting! <laughs> Do you believe in marriage by current sentiments against it? Yes! And children! Three of them! Two girls and a boy! Carter, Pastor, and Brown! Oh, and will you love me? Yes! And cherish me forever! Yes! And you still want to go to the movies! Sure thing! Waiter! Thank <laughs> you.